Hey guys, it's Noah here with a new embroidery tutorial for you and today I'm making the new camper embroidery kit. It's now available for purchase in my shop, you can find the link in the description box. I already stitched the top part of the camper to show you guys the beautiful effect it will have in the end. And here is how I stitched it. Let's just prepare the thread and needle. I'm using the thread as is for most parts using six strings because it's easier to fill out shapes with thicker thread. So let's make a satin stitch all the way through this line. I'm going up through the fabric with my needle and then back down from the other side of the outline. In this case, I'm going up from the bottom line and then back down from the top line. I already marked in the design the lines for the camper. If you want to fill this out in any other way, you are very welcome to get creative and give it a shot. You can also use different color combinations because in the kit you will get a full set of threads of each color that I'm using. If you watched my latest embroidery tutorial about the rainbow embroidery, then you know how much I love stitching in sections. It is the perfect method for creating perfect curves and it's also applicable here. In order to keep with the straight vertical lines, use the section method. Make one stitch about one or two centimeters or one inch forward and then fill it with a satin stitch. Keep going like this throughout the whole line and then move forward for the next line until you finish stitching the whole camper. When you get to the plant, stitch around them and a little bit over them. Leave some marks unstitched so you can remember where to add the plant leaves later. We will stitch over the camper stitches, so don't worry about that. Pay attention that I left the last bottom section of the camper empty. I will later fill it in with different color. But first I'm stitching the wheel. As you can see, I'm making stitches in spaces around the bigger part of the wheel. And yes, I am creating <laughs> sections again to stitch that. Told you I love this method and now you can use it to make nice curves. So after marking the sections, fill them with satin stitch going from the outside in. Stitch the middle ring of the wheel the same way, but now stitch from the inner part to the bigger ring. And last but not least, add a few stitches in the middle part. Create some kind of a star in the middle. I used a different color for that part because it was getting too dark there. Now let's finish the bottom part of the camper. I'm adding satin stitch in sections just like I stitched the rest of the camper. Now I stitch the line that is like the ground that the camper stands on or something like that. I'm doing a simple back stitch in small spaces. This is one of the simple stitches and used a lot in embroidery, so it's good practice if you're a beginner. You start with a simple stitch and then you go up ahead of the line at your desired length of the stitch. As I said, I'm doing small stitches. Now go back down from where the last stitch ended. It's like going ahead and then backwards, hence the name Backstitch. Let's tackle one of the big ones now, the door. I will start from the easy part, which is the bottom, with satin stitch in sections. Now let's jump ahead because I want to show you the tricky parts. In order to stitch around the knob, I just stitch until the knob because I will add a chunky French knot there later and it will cover the sides anyway. Around the window, I kept stitching horizontally on each side of the window. Same stitch as before. You can do the right side first, then complete the top and go back down from the left side. There is no need to go over the window and waste thread. 
I stitched the window of the door in simple stitches. First I made the frame and then just added a large cross over the inner lines of the window. Now I felt like the door needed a little extra something, so I added a frame for the door as well. Let's keep going to the window. I did a back stitch according to the lines in the middle, then added the vertical stitches according to the outline as well. Then I embroidered the frame with satin stitch in very small stitches. It's a bit hard, but it gave it such a beautiful, rich look, so I'm really happy about that. Well, sorry guys, then my camera betrayed me and stopped recording, but I did finish the embroidery and you can find the full explanation in the kit instructions and in the PDF pattern instructions, of course. So as I said, you can find the link to my shop down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and let me know in the comments which tip helped you the most. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!